everybody. So, big news. Not only has my bib become a lot shorter, I also ordered a big folding knife from Germany. Uh, for different reasons, uh, several reasons. I made a short unboxing video or unpacking video five minutes after uh, the, the main man was here. Uh, I almost ripped open the envelope to find the knife uh, and everything went a bit too fast maybe. <clears throat> anyway, some of the footage kind of disappeared. Um, I will show you the uh, unboxing though, uh, what I managed to pull off the camera. Uh, and in order to make it into a, a whole video, a package so to speak, I'll do an, uh, a gym inspired introduction. Jim from uh, uh, Nicest Knives. Uh, I really like his videos and he does his Friday videos in a certain way and then I'll do something a bit like that although it is Saturday so therefore I will start off by showing you a, a beer I'll open this in a second looking forward to that and after that I'll show you uh, the knife that I ordered from Germany. The uh, the knife I ordered took a long while to get here, but it finally arrived. <coughs> and uh, while I was waiting for the knife to arrive, I wrote about it on Facebook. On a closed group uh, with other knife geeks, and uh, somebody or some some of the people in there were rather concerned. Uh, they had uh, they have tried ordering these knives or had them in their hands and. Uh, they weren't that impressed, uh, so they they asked me to do a unboxing and uh, see if they just were unlucky and got bad models, Monday models. Um, I don't know, but uh, as you will see, the one I got it's a nice one. But first off, the beer. As you see, it's uh, crystal clear, dark yellow, not so firm in the top, it's very nice smell. Yes, the malts used in this, there are different kinds of malts, also the one you know from uh, Weissbier. And a little bit of what's it in English? Elderflower. And that's and of course different sorts of hops, but it's the elderflower you sense. Oh yes. First off, it's a good beer with a big capital B. And after a short while, uh, the other flower shines through. It's very good. It has a long aftertaste. Six percent by volume, so and half a liter. So it's 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 not a driver's beer. It's from Villemos. It's a Danish brewery called Vestfy. Not very far from where I live. And they, I love the bottles, they have uh, different uh, kinds of beer 
in this uh, Villemus series. And they, I think actually, I think they're all very good. But this one is one of my favorites. Yes. I'm a bit surprised by the other flower every time. <clears throat> if you ever, if you live in Denmark and haven't tried it, try it. If you ever get to Denmark, don't buy ordinary boring beer. Try something a little more exciting. We have a lot of exciting beers. Mm. I'll show you the unboxing. And oh, I have to say, the specs of the knife, I'll put them in uh, as text on the still photos at the end. So, enjoy. So, here it is. Let's take a look at it. the address and, and this I didn't order this this is a gift that's that's very nice I'll, I'll start off by taking a look at this huh very nice. This looks, this this will do great in the kitchen. Well, thank you, Heiner. That's very nice. So <laughs> that's a small bonus. That's great. Put this aside. Maybe I'll do a uh, review on this uh, on its own. I, I think I'll do that. Put this aside. Now. <coughs> Is the knife I ordered? It comes in this very hard plastic wrapping. Oh, this is very stiff. Well, get out of there. No. Yes. Ah. Very special, this uh, raffia, this uh, plastic material, very, very special. Now, before we do anything else, let's take a look at the blade. It's not 100% centered, but it's nowhere near as bad as, uh, as the one that uh, Stefan Schmalhaus had. Oh, yes, that, that is a very reassuring sound of a blade locking, <laughs> very beefy, it's a great grip, it's rather simple but the ergonomics are great. Hmm. Huh? A bit oily, that's a good thing. I don't know if you can make this out. Can you see this? Ramo handmade K55K Solingen, Germany, Rostfrei 440C, also known as 1.4125. And down here it says 
same stuff, K55, K soling, handmade Germany. Very cool. Not razor sharp, but uh, it's a bit tight, but I guess. I don't know, can you hear this? It's a bit gritty. I'll try oiling it up. Oh yes. So let's um, let's try the sharpness. Now the thing with sharpness out of the box, it, it doesn't really matter to me because I know how to sharpen a knife. But since uh, a couple of guys asked me uh, online, I'll test this out. This is ordinary uh, uh, brown paper for packaging. It's That's uh, not bad at all. I can easily work with this. That's cool. Uh, I will strop it though. Uh, maybe put it to a very fine stone at first. Because it can get very, 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 very sharp, this German 440C. But this, that, that's no problem. That's. Uh, There's a little something here, maybe. Not really a problem. Maybe I should try with a piece of newspaper. See how that works out. No problem at all. There's a little something here, somewhere here around here. This, this is sharp enough out of the box and uh, the blade is not centered 100% but this is, for a working knife, this is quite alright, quite alright. It doesn't rub anywhere. If anything, there's this, uh, this, uh, this uh, grittiness, or what do you call it? But I think uh, opening and closing it a couple of times and a drop of oil in there, we're good. Ah yes, I'm very pleased with this. I'll just uh, scrub it a few times and uh, look where uh, that gets us. So uh, hang on for a second. Alright, I'll just give it I don't know, 30 seconds on the strap and And I would say for a working knife, this is quite all right. There's still this very small thing here in the middle of the blade, and I could take that out uh, easily. Just wanted to show you this 440C. It's very easy to work with, and it's easy to sharpen. And in my experience, it 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 holds up nicely. So there you have it. Maybe just a uh, Size comparison. Wait a minute. I got something here. This is the uh, Victorinox Tinker. It's a Spartan, but with a Phillips screwdriver instead of the corkscrew. So you see, it's a it's it's a rather <laughs> beefy knife. Very nice. Very sturdy knife.
And there's this gift, this bonus knife that I'm looking very much forward to using in my kitchen. I really like this, uh, this pattern. Very nice indeed. Yeah. So, thank you, Reiner. Your knife has arrived and I'm, I'm very pleased. Very pleased indeed. Hang on for some still photos. Mm -hmm.